Have you ever felt like you've lived a moment before, that unsettling sense of familiarity that defies explanation? From the corridors of our minds to the vast expanse of the universe, the phenomenon of deja vu beckons us to question the very fabric of reality. Join us as we delve into the enigma of deja vu guided by the groundbreaking theories of Anthony Peake. From brain glitches to parallel worlds, we explore the scientific and the mystical, the known and the unknown. Is it a glitch in our brains, or are we catching glimpses of alternate realities? Discover the secrets behind one of the mind's most baffling mysteries. Subscribe and journey with us beyond the boundaries of time and consciousness. Prepare to question everything you thought you knew about reality. The journey begins now. Welcome to Quantum Mind. Déjà vu, a French term meaning already seen, is a universal phenomenon experienced by people around the globe. It's that eerie sensation you get when you're in a situation, and you feel like you've lived this moment before. It's as if time has looped back on itself allowing you to experience the same moment twice. But why does this happen? Well for a long time the most common explanation has been tied to the intricacies of our brain functions. Scientists suggest that déjà vu may be a result of a slight misfire in our brain, where current situations are mistakenly identified as memories. This glitch in the matrix, so to speak, is often attributed to the complex workings of the temporal lobe, the region of the brain responsible for processing sensory input and converting it into memories. Another widely accepted explanation lies in the realm of psychology suggesting that déjà vu might be a result of our brain's attempt to make sense of similar but not identical situations. For instance, you might walk into a room that has the same layout as one you've been in before, and your brain, in its attempt to connect the dots, gives you a feeling of déjà vu. Neurologically, it's suggested that déjà vu might be a momentary out of sync between the long-term and short-term memory functions of the brain. A delay in information reaching the long-term memory might cause the brain to perceive the new information as an old memory, hence the feeling of already seen. It's also been proposed that déjà vu might be linked to epileptic seizures or migraines, where abnormal electrical discharges in the brain might create a sense of familiarity with the present moment. But these explanations, while fascinating, tend to view déjà vu as a kind of brain anomaly, an error in the system. Yet. What if the roots of déjà vu extend beyond mere neurological quirks? This is where the visionary insights of Anthony Peake come into play. Anthony Peake, a renowned consciousness researcher, proposes a fascinating theory linking déjà vu to quantum physics. Peake, known for his interdisciplinary approach to studying reality, has a unique perspective that takes us beyond the typical neurological explanations and into the realm of quantum mechanics. Peake's theory is grounded in the many-worlds interpretation of quantum physics. For those unfamiliar, this interpretation suggests that rather than collapsing into a single outcome, every event branches out into a tree of possibilities, creating an infinite number of parallel universes. Now what does this have to do with déjà vu? Well, Peake suggests that déjà vu could be a glimpse into these parallel realities. Picture it like a brief cross-connection between the cables of two different TVs, causing a momentary flicker of another channel on your screen. In the context of déjà vu, you're momentarily experiencing a slice of another version of your life from a parallel universe. But the plot thickens. Peak doesn't simply attribute déjà vu to quantum weirdness. He also delves into the role of our brains. The temporal lobe, a region of the brain involved in forming and retrieving memories, becomes a key player in Peak's theory. He proposes that déjà vu might be a result of a mix-up in the temporal lobe's processing, causing us to perceive a current moment as a memory. This interplay between quantum physics and neuroscience in Peake's theory offers a novel perspective on déjà vu. It steps away from the traditional idea of brain glitches and instead paints a picture of a universe far more interconnected and complex than we might have imagined. Peake doesn't stop there though. He also explores the role of our brain in these eerie experiences. Anthony Peake's exploration of consciousness ventures into territory that transcends the conventional bounds of time as we understand it. He posits an intriguing hypothesis. What if our consciousness does not adhere to the linear progression of time? Peake invites us to envision consciousness not as a river flowing from the past towards the future, 
but as an expansive ocean where past, present, and future exist concurrently. In this vast, temporal ocean, every moment whether past, present, or future is occurring simultaneously, though each resides on distinct wavelengths of our consciousness. This radical departure from linear time not only challenges our traditional perceptions of reality, but also offers a fascinating lens through which to view the phenomenon of déjà vu. According to Peake, the eerie familiarity of déjà vu might stem from our consciousness momentarily touching upon a different point in this oceanic expanse, resonating with an experience from our past or a premonition of our future. To elucidate how these moments of temporal alignment might occur, Peake introduces two pivotal concepts, the demon and the Eidolon. The Eidolon represents our day-to-day -day conscious self, anchored in the linear flow of time, it is the aspect of our being that perceives this very moment. In contrast, the demon embodies our transcendent self, unbounded by temporal constraints, possessing an awareness of our entire life's tapestry, past, present, and future. Peake theorizes that déjà vu arises when the demon, from its vantage point beyond time, imparts a fragment of knowledge from another temporal frequency to the Eidolon. This act of communication, akin to a veil momentarily lifting between different strata of our consciousness, results in the profound yet fleeting sensation known as déjà vu. It's as if the demon is subtly signaling to the Eidolon, hinting at a deeper, interconnected reality with a simple remember this. Through these concepts, Peak not only illuminates the enigmatic nature of déjà vu, but also invites us to reconsider the very fabric of reality and the essence of consciousness. By suggesting that our conscious experience is not tethered to linear temporality, he opens the door to exhilarating possibilities in understanding the human condition and the universe at large. However, it's crucial to approach Peake's theories with both openness and skepticism. The realm of consciousness research is a journey marked by questions as much as answers, a domain where the pursuit of understanding is itself a beacon guiding us through the mysteries of existence. Peak's foray into the mysteries of déjà vu and consciousness presents a compelling intersection of quantum physics and neuroscience, propelling us to question the very essence of reality. His theories, drawing on the many worlds interpretation, propose a cosmos wherein each choice we make not only influences our path, but potentially gives rise to an infinite array of parallel universes. This radical concept does more than offer an intriguing explanation for déjà vu. It beckons us to ponder our place within a labyrinth of endless possibilities. Peake's hypotheses venture beyond traditional boundaries, suggesting that our consciousness might interact with these parallel realities, particularly through the mechanisms of the brain, such as the temporal lobe's role in memory and perception. This perspective posits that our minds may possess capabilities that transcend current scientific understanding, perhaps even bridging the gap to alternate dimensions of existence. Critics, however, voice skepticism towards Peake's ambitious connections between quantum mechanics, often confined to the subatomic realm, and the expansive macroscopic domain of human experience. Questions about the empirical substantiation of his theories abound, alongside debates on the applicability of the many worlds interpretation within quantum physics to explain consciousness. Despite these debates, the value of Peake's work lies in its ability to ignite curiosity and wonder. It challenges us to embrace the mysteries that persist at the frontiers of science and philosophy. By juxtaposing established scientific knowledge with speculative inquiry, Peak encourages a dialogue that stretches the imagination and deepens our quest for understanding. In essence, Peak's contributions serve as a reminder that the journey of discovery is far from complete. The vast, uncharted territories of consciousness and reality await, reminiscent of the Earth's own deep oceans, full of secrets yet to be unveiled. His theories urge us to persist in our exploration, to question the known, and to remain open to the unknown. As we delve into these discussions the conversation extends beyond the academic and into the personal. What are your thoughts on the existence of parallel realities? The invitation to engage with these ideas is open, encouraging a vibrant exchange of perspectives and insights. Thank you for joining us on this intriguing journey into the mysteries of déjà vu, consciousness, and the quantum universe. We hope you found these theories as captivating as we do, and that they've sparked your curiosity about the unexplored territories of reality that exist within and beyond our grasp. The exchange of ideas doesn't end here though. We'd love to hear from you. Have you ever experienced déjà vu? Do you believe in the existence of parallel realities? 
share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. Your insights are a valuable part of this ongoing conversation. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and join us for more explorations into the fascinating unknown. We regularly delve into a wide array of topics, connecting science, philosophy, and the human experience in ways that provoke thought and inspire wonder. As we close this video, let's carry forward the spirit of exploration and curiosity that Peak's theories inspire. Remember, the exploration of consciousness is a journey, not a destination. There's always more to learn, more to discover, and more to question. So, stay curious, keep questioning, and we'll see you in the next video.